What's going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video and in this one I'm talking about everything we know about Tesla's pending pickup truck and their competitors. So I've been wanting to do this for a while, cover what Tesla's plans are for a pickup truck and talk about who else is doing something similar. It's actually getting quite exciting because there's a handful of companies which I'll cover here in just a moment that are working on some really, really cool things. And to date, an all electric pickup truck does not exist. So I'm excited to get into the details of what these companies have publicly shared and how they match up to each other. So let's start off with the Tesla pickup truck and what we know in terms of performance specs. Elon has already shared with us that the battery pack will offer a four to 500 mile range on a 125 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they take the same strategy with the Roadster where they combine two 100 kilowatt hour packs to offer a massive range of 600 miles or more. What will Tesla's zero to 60 time on this pickup truck be? Well, we don't really know yet, but if we take any cues from their Model S and X, there's a really good chance that it will be under three seconds. I think Tesla's going to want to be the fastest pickup truck from zero to 60. And so I think it could potentially be on par with the P100D Model S and X variants. Horsepower is another one that we don't really know much about, but it could be upwards of seven, 800 horsepower, but I'm only guessing on that one. What about towing capacity? Because that's something that truck owners seem to be really, really interested in. Elon actually publicly said that the towing capacity of this pickup truck would be 300,000 pounds. <laughs> What? What? That's insane. But not really that crazy enough. If some of you space shuttle aficionados remember back in 2012, the Toyota Tundra actually towed the space shuttle, which was around 300,000 pounds. It was a really, really big media event, and it was really cool to see a pickup truck towing such a big and heavy space shuttle. So if you consider the fact that a Toyota Tundra can do it, I'm going to guess to say that the 300,000 pound towing limit is probably pretty doable in a, an electric Tesla vehicle. What about charging infrastructure? Of course, we all know that Tesla has their own proprietary supercharging network that is growing day by day by day. And I think that this will be a strong selling position for Tesla because there's not very many other EV makers at the moment that have decided to build their own network outside of Porsche. Bed size, which impacts how much stuff you can actually fit in the bed of a pickup truck is something that we don't know enough about for the Tesla. But if Elon Musk is already talking about a cyberpunk Blade Runner truck that can fit someone the size of Andre the Giant in, it's probably going to be a pretty large pickup truck bed. And if I were to take any wild guesses here, I'm gonna say that based on Elon's recent enthusiasm that he's publicly shared, we're probably going to see the pickup truck this coming March along with the Model Y reveal. I would not be surprised if they did something crazy like put the Model Y in the back of the Tesla pickup truck bed as they're introducing it to the audience. What do you guys think? Do you think that's something that they would do? They did share that picture back when they did the semi-truck reveal of a like mock-up of a pickup truck that was basically a converted semi-truck with an F-150 in the bed. Most people thought that that was sort of an exaggeration of the truth, but I wouldn't count Elon out for doing something wild and crazy like that. Now let's talk about the Atlas pickup truck. This is is one that looks really, really cool in terms of their concept design, and they seem to be focusing only on the pickup truck at the moment, which makes me really, really bullish because when you focus on one thing, you master that one thing. So let's get into the specs of the Atlas pickup truck. Atlas advertises the range on their pickup truck to be somewhere between three and 500 miles. They don't publicly communicate how large their battery pack is just yet, but they do say that their zero to 60 will be under five seconds. Horsepower is an unknown variable, but the towing capacity will be 35,000 pounds. They also talk about off 
offering their own proprietary charging now. How fast that is, I'm not quite sure yet. I think it's a good sign that they're developing their own charging technology. In general, it allows companies to be less at the mercy of other people's technology and control the full experience of their customers. The bed size of their pickup truck bed will be between six and a half feet and eight feet, depending on the variant of the truck. They talk about actually a dually truck, which is interesting to me. So that should be really, really cool. Now on to Bollinger. This is one that I think seems really, really interesting to me. They seem to, based on their website, take a, a little bit more of a traditional approach to marketing. The design of their SUV concept reminds me a lot of the old school 1970s Bronco, but their pickup truck looks a little bit more like a EV version of a Hummer. They're doing some really, really interesting things. It's not flashy. It's probably more functional in terms of its ruggedness. The range on their truck, they say, will be 200 miles with a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. Its zero to 60 time will be 6.9 seconds with a horsepower of 520. The towing capacity of this vehicle will be 7,500 pounds. And as of right now, it does not seem like they have any plans to work on their own proprietary charging network. The bed size of this pickup truck is 5 feet 9 inches, but they are also doing something really unique here that they call a pass-through. So you'll be able to fit like lumber and 2x4s, uh, not only push them into the bed, but through the cabin and into the front. So it does appear that Bollinger is giving people a little bit more flexibility in terms of the length of things that they can store inside of their truck with this pass-through. Okay, on to the last one, Rivion, which is the one that I'm most excited about outside of what Tesla has plans for, because I actually had the pleasure of going to their design facility in Detroit this past May. I met up with the creative director, Larry Parker, and he was kind enough to show me around their facility. Not only did I get to meet some of their employees in various departments, but I also got to see their design facility where they were designing their two vehicles, an SUV and a pickup truck. And I've got to say, it looks really, really cool. They spent a ton of time thinking about utility and use and also design, not only exterior design, but interior design, the materials of the interior. I can tell that they're ready to wow the world with their vehicles. They also gave me a pair of VR goggles and gave me a glimpse into the future past these two vehicles. Now, I also wanna say that they've also extended a personal invite for me to attend their public reveal of this truck. This will happen on November 26 in the evening time and I can't wait to bring you all along. So before I get into the specs of what we know about their truck, I wanna invite you to subscribe to my channel because I'll make sure to bring you along and do some YouTube live streams so you can see exactly what I'm seeing in real time. I'll also take my DSLR camera so that I can get some high quality photo. If you remember the last time I did one of these live streams, it was at Tesla's semi-truck event. And though it was really cool to bring everyone along, the quality of the live stream was not fantastic. So what I'll probably do is I'll film everything. I'll film the key things on my nice camera and then at different points during the event, I'll also use my phone to do some YouTube live streams. So let's jump into some of the specs of Rivion, some of the things that they have publicly shared. The first thing that I think is really interesting about this company is that they're trying to carve out a new niche, which they're calling utility adventure vehicles. So they envision not only people utilizing this as their daily commuter and driving around the city, but they envision this vehicle being used for outdoor adventures, going up into the mountains, going into remote areas, utilizing its autonomous features to drop you off at, let's say, the top of a mountain and autonomously drive down to the bottom to pick you up. Its range, they say, will be 400 plus miles. They haven't quite shared publicly yet what the battery size will be, but my understanding is that they will offer several variants. The performance version of their pickup truck will do zero to 60 in under three seconds with a horsepower of around 800. And we don't quite know what the towing capacity will be, but it will have some function and be able to tow some things. But we'll have to wait until next week to really get those details. In terms of proprietary charging, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do here, but I'm hoping they will share some information about this at their reveal next week too, because I think a lot of people think about that. Not everyone 
does just a to and from work and charges at home. Some people, especially if they're trying to attract the outdoors people that maybe might appeal to a Jeep or something similar, they probably will need to think about something like this, building some sort of infrastructure, charging infrastructure that they themselves can control. They also haven't shared any size information in terms of how big the pickup truck bed will be, but I don't expect it to be any less than the standard, let's say, F-150 pickup truck bed. But let's take it a step further and compare these EV trucks to Ford and Ram's performance pickup trucks, the Ford Raptor and Ram Rebel. I think this will give me some context for what these companies are up against in terms of performance, and I would imagine that the price point of these electric pickup trucks would probably be similar in price to these two traditional pickup trucks. The fuel tank size of the Ford Raptor will get you somewhere between 450 and 576 miles on a single tank of gas. The Ram Rebel will get you 506 to 572 miles on a tank of gas. What about 0 to 60? 5.3 and 6.6 .6 respectively. Horsepower? 450 and 395. Towing capacity, 8,075.20. ,000 Bed size options for the Ford Raptor, five and a half to eight feet long. The Ram Rebel, five and a half to 6.4 feet long. I've got a pretty good feeling about these EV trucks that in terms of torque and horsepower, they're going to far outperform the traditional gasoline competitors. The biggest challenge for EV pickup trucks will be the battery range because if you're towing something really heavy, it will deplete the battery significantly faster than if you don't have something behind you. I've got the most confidence in Tesla's pickup truck just because I know that they've got some previous track record, they've got the technology, and they're working on a Tesla semi-truck. So they may have the upper hand here coming in 2020, but it'll be really interesting to see what Rivian comes out with here at the end of the month. I'm really excited about this event, and I think in terms of who is poised best to compete with Tesla, I think it's Rivian. But I think we'll know a lot more about Rivian's product line here in the very near future. I hope you found this video interesting and valuable, and if you did, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next video.